no plans to do it just because that you know it takes a little bit longer to plan stuff like that there is a board game that i just want rich to play in general so perhaps we'll stream that one day time barons but uh which is which is a deck building game <laughs> Jack, what does your wife tell your kids <laughs> when you go over to Rich's house to play? <laughs> <laughs> they, every once in a while, like, they'll see Daddy has to go to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, no, like, they, they'll come in every once in a while and see me, like, editing video game footage, and they know what I do. It's fine. They, they of course, they like it because it's video game stuff. I don't let them listen to it because we cuss a lot, but <laughs> and I'm not quite ready to let them uh, to have them be uh, okay with cussing. But that's fine. No, because you don't want to be the first. I think we've talked. They're about gonna this. cuss sooner or later in their life. Absolutely, absolutely. But here's the big thing: you don't want to be the parents of the kids that bring cussing to school. As soon as soon as another kid cusses, it's gonna be it's gonna be a sailor house in here. We're gonna be cussing you up know, a storm. Just don't be so tight. That's what I would tell any parents who are upset. Ah, go fuck yourself. That's <laughs> that's that's the problem. My kid that's, swears because of you go fuck yourself. That's that's, <laughs> that's not how it works. We have to see these people all the time. <laughs> the I'm glad I could expand your child's <laughs> vocabulary. <laughs> They're, they're going to say fuck for the next 50 years of their life. Hopefully Absolutely. more. Hopefully more. No, no. And I can't wait to swear with them. I cannot wait because I really enjoy cussing. And that was a really hard thing uh, was like cur curtailing my own cussing when I had children. But but uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I've told uh, the story on stream, but uh when I was piecing together, when I was cutting up the YouTube video of our Pictionary stream, the, the thumbnail that I used was, uh, was Rich's, uh, like, Frank Deb Drebin drawing of Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> that was Jay's. Jay's. Oh, that was Jay's. And, well, I think you drew Go Fuck Yourself, right? Or... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, like, you know, I, I used that as a thumbnail because I thought it was a really great thumbnail. And so that was a very tiny oh, thumbnail. Right, I Sorry, I forgot. I forgot to do a thing. Oh, well, I have, to, I have to free these guys, and I forgot to do that. I'm like, why, is, why isn't the game continuing? <laughs> why did so the game stop? Where's the game? Case, I had that little thumbnail, and it was. A I was tiny saying that all thing. throughout the order. Where's the game? <laughs> Where'd the game go? I heard this was a game. <laughs> it's not interactive. <laughs> Is that kind of the definition of a game? <laughs> Does it have to be interactive? <laughs> Where's the interactivity? Right? Mm. So in any case, we had this tiny thumbnail of Go Fuck Yourself. And my six-year-old you know, comes into my office and, you know, like I, I quickly check my computer and I didn't see any swear words on my computer because sometimes there are swear words on it. And he's talking to me and all of a sudden, all of a sudden or, or it said like, fuck you, I think. And all of a sudden, like, you know, I'm talking with him and he's, you know, asking for a snack or something. And he goes, fuck you. And I say, what? And, uh, and he, he points to the thumbnail, and, you know, he's a really oh, good Oh, no! He's a really good reader, and he goes, fuck you. And I said, uh-huh, that's what that says? And I, and I said, uh-huh, that's what that says. So you want a snack? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make any big deal out of it? Yeah. Don, didn't, you can't make a big deal out of it, because as soon as they know it's a big deal, it's a big deal. But So he it, that's in there. That's in his brain now. But it has not come back, which is great. Good for him. He's growing up. <laughs> no, and like I said, once... As long as it's another kid, as long as you're not the kid that that, as long as you're not the parent of the kid that brings it to school, I think it's fine. <laughs> I, mean, I grew up watching R-rated movies. I grew up around swear words, and I I refuse to step on ants if I can help it. It's not messed up right. my brain. Oh no, 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 it's not a it's not a messing up brain. It, I mean, I do think like like for kids understanding like what is appropriate and where it's appropriate is important, and there's no way. That they can comp like you know, right now like I'm sure they talk about poops and farting in school because they think it's funny, but you know like there's no way I I don't think they can comprehend that like that's not appropriate talk when you're trying to you know do math problems or whatnot so, 
just making sure that they understand when it's appropriate to do so, you know? Okay. Because I think it's what's important, and I don't think that they have all of the abilities to know when it's appropriate, which is, you know, not in school. You're not supposed to cuss in school. Oh, Jack, you and so. your puritanical values. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> no, like I said, well, I, th I think any age is a good age for kids to start cursing as long as you, you know, as long as it's like an, uh, this is, these are in-house words, you know, these are words to say around other people who are okay with it cussing. Like anytime, anytime I'm out, like the other day, we, 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 like we were at like Target or something. And I'm, I'm hearing people, and they're in the children's clothing section, and they are cussing up a storm, and it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, this is a children's section of Target. Stop swearing. I'll take this. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I know. can't bring myself to care. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. No, that's fine. You don't have to care. This is, that's fine. Jack, when will you let your kids play The Order 1886? Oh, that would be the greatest disappointment. They come, they come home and they say, we want to play The Order. You know what? what? Your kids are never going to come home and say, I want to play The Order. Nope, never going to happen. You know why? That game is going to be forgotten. Of course it is. That game is going to be... That game... That game it will be lucky if The Order is a footnote. Like, if The Order is like, The Order sucked so hard that we had to change our rating system, you know? <laughs> it will be lucky if it does that. Not what I was after, but it'll do. I'm actually fucking around here. I'm actually upgrading your weapons. Okay. If you, uh, pick up a... If you, if you like, you pick up, like, the assault rifle and your ammo is full already, uh -huh. instead of refilling your ammo, any assault rifles you pick up, pick up when your ammo is full... They kind of like level up the assault rifle. For every uh -huh. every every three times you do that, your assault rifle gains a level. Uh -huh. um, more more ammo, a little bit more powerful stuff stuff like that. Okay. So I'm kind of cheesing the system a bit. After this huge battle, I'm I'm just picking up all the debris that's been left behind. See, I don't think that's cheesing the system. Like you're, that's the the cost benefit is you you have to go around and hunt for stuff. That's fine. Yeah, that's a little bit cheesing. Is it cheesing? There you go. This is a hardcore action game, and I'm I'm pausing so I can grab weapons and manipulate my my weapon stats. It's it's cheesing. It's a little bit cheesing. Ah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Ooh, what's up here? <laughs> I did. I did get into. I'm I'm seeing some people like talk about the order and kids and whatnot, and I did get into a very serious conversation with someone the other day. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was at a, a children's birthday party, um, and I was talking to some other parents, and we were kind of joking around about uh, Star Wars and general nerdy stuff. You know, people know I'm a nerd in general. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we were, we were talking about Star Wars, and apparently, you yeah, know, this guy's kid was really into Star Wars. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's super great, blah, blah, blah. And, and he talks about, the, he talked, he mentioned the prequels a little bit. And so I, you know, mostly joking, but but obviously very seriously mentioned that in my house, the prequels don't exist, <laughs> which is a very real thing. The prequels will not exist in my house. Um, as far as my kids are concerned, there are three Star Wars movies. Oh, they're, they're happier people. They're, and they're going to be happier people for that. And so I, I kind of jokingly mentioned that, you know, and this guy looked at me as if I was crazy rich. You're, you're the sanest man on earth as far as I'm <laughs> concerned. <laughs> but, but like, you know, I get, I'm so, you know, I'm just so used to being around you guys where it's just generally understood that the prequels are garbage, right? Yeah. And so, you know, I make an offhanded comment about how the prequels are garbage. And this guy's like, what are you talking about? I think they're fine. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> And so I start getting into it with him, like like real nerd debate stuff, and and oh god, no, I know, and and it'd be only because I was so thrown off by the fact that like he's just a normal person who doesn't understand that the prequels are garbage and is just a normal person, and I'm just like, but what about this? But what about this? 
but what about this? And he's like, well, yeah, that was pretty bad. And yeah, that was pretty bad. But, you know, I still think they were good movies. And I was like, no, you just said that they were all bad. What? <laughs> People are stupid. Uh, it was, it was, it was, uh, and, you know, like I settled down eventually just because it's just like, he's just a normal guy. Everything's going to be fine. He's just a normal guy. <laughs> But but I was so thrown off by someone being indifferent about the Star Wars prequels. I, I'm spending too much time with you guys, I think. <laughs> what do I do when my kids discover the Star Wars prequels? I will tell them that they are that they are f uh, fan fiction. Oh yeah, some someone made those who really like the Star Wars movies. Maybe we could make our own Star Wars movies. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? And they'll say, oh, yeah, let's do that. And we'll make our own Star Wars movies. I mean, oh, God. Oh. Sorry, somebody, somebody got behind me somehow. Someone got behind you? A robot, yeah. No. Oh. evil robot got behind me, and I don't know how. Oh. Maybe he jumps. Maybe he jumps. <laughs> see mr glitch i think like indifference to the star wars prequels is one thing like if you're indifferent like that's fine like eh, you know star wars prequels it doesn't you know, it doesn't affect my daily life but if you're just like oh they're, they're good movies then we're gonna have an issue <laughs> if you defend them that's the problem Jack, do you think your kids will find the Plinket reviews before they find the Star Wars prequels? I don't know, maybe. I mean, I think... Maybe, but they won't understand them. They won't understand them, right. I think you need to see the movies before you see the reviews. <clears throat> Rich, there's a question here. Yeah. What was the last AAA game you actually enjoyed? <laughs> <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Five. Grand Theft, yeah, that's me. Yeah. I was okay. less than a year old. I, I don't. I really don't hate them on principle. I've just. They've mostly been bad lately. Yeah. Oh no, I know. That's that's why I specifically asked you that because I'm sure that's what someone was fishing for. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto games are fun. Uh, I, I was recently on stream playing the Batman games, the Arkham game, Arkham Asylum. That was a really fun game. That's a triple A game. Mm -hmm. uh, very much enjoyed that. Uh, you know, I think we've had this discussion before. Do any do, do Nintendo games count? I mean, they obviously are triple A games. Why? Yeah, people think they don't count because I don't know why. This is gonna be fun. I'm a because big... people don't like Nintendo. I, I, you're not supposed to like Nintendo or something. Right, Nintendo is somehow immune. From being a triple A, but no, I mean, you know, well, we because did a... Nintendo's for babies and babies and fanboys like Nintendo <laughs> and baby fanboys or something, something, right? right? So, no, we did an episode on Mario Kart and we agreed it was good, maybe not the best Mario Kart, but I really like it. I've been playing Smash Brothers, I really like Smash Brothers. Ah, uh, that's a triple A game. Over there. You know, there are AAA games that we enjoy. These are things. Uh, you know what? I liked the Borderland games. Border Borderland uh, had some really fun gunplay. Did you play any of the Borderland games? No. Rich? Well, then we can't have a discussion. Well, uh, Borderlands was fun. Really fun world, and uh, and good. A solid shooter. The problem is, you're hearing me. You're hearing me unzip my GoPro bag now because it's time to ingest my GoPro footage. Uh, <laughs> uh, solid shooter and really fun. Like I, I had a lot of fun playing the Borderlands games. Uh, my problem was, uh, it stopped Borderlands really quickly after after like 10, 15 hours. Borderlands just turns into math. The game. You know, because in that game you pick up different guns and every gun has a different ability and different stats, right? Mm -hmm. And so even though you're like you're basically doing the same thing, you're it's it's a first person shooter, so you're just shooting things. But 
the sh the shooting mechanic never changes, but your guns do, and so all you're doing is looking for that gun that has the one point better attack or the one point better reload speed. It just turns into a math game, and it turned into it really fast for me. Where you would, you would hate Mass Effect One. Yeah. Yeah. Great story, but I, the game is the the the, the gun stuff. It's kind of bad. <laughs> kind of bad. Hold on for a second. Silky smooth, rich. Thank you for subscribing. Silky smooth, rich. Silky smooth, rich. We really appreciate your subscription. Um, but you know, I, in general, like I, I enjoy the Borderlands games. They just, they got old for me because all I was worried about was that math. Like the shooting was really fun, but I just, just math. <laughs> That's all I could see. I couldn't see the fun enemies. I couldn't see, like, the fun world. All I was looking for was that gun with the one point better stat. So. In Mass Effect 1, there's, like, hundreds of guns with very, very minor stat differences. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's absolutely it. Where, where's that guy at? Oh, yes. So, so then you know. Then that's exactly... I mean, obviously, different, different general play mechanics, because Mass Effect is a third person well i don't even know what mass effect yeah. is I've never it's third person effect. shooter slash our role-playing game yeah so the, the parts where you're not speaking to people or exploring <laughs> the galaxy you're 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 in third person and you're shooting and right people and monsters and robots right right so no i i probably would not much care for that but i knew that already uh, yeah, no, Borderlands, I, I would, uh, in general, I would recommend them just because it's, especially like really early on, like for Borderlands 1, you know, you're fighting those cool guys with the masks. And uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very, very visual, very fun. Like the initial gameplay for Borderlands is so much fun. And if you if you like that kind of shooter, you'll have a good time. Uh, people people stepping in late. Somebody's asking, you know, why am I not hearing what the fuck notifications? Uh, Twitch is apparently having issues. Yes. You usually do hear them in the in the in the chat and the live streams, but not not today. For some reason. For, for some reason. We don't know why. Because Twitch. What is this? What is what? Oh, I'm importing This will be incredibly fascinating for everyone else, but I'm importing GoPro footage and it broke up. It broke up uh, the discussion into different chunks for some reason. Huh. Oh well. Not the biggest of deals. This is the wrong gun for this job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ended up with two low accuracy machine guns. Oh, there's an assault rifle. I'm going to pick it up right now. <laughs> Uh, I play as anyone in Super Smash Brothers. I, I enjoy playing. I enjoy playing as different characters. I've been really, uh, I've been maining uh, the villager, just because I love growing a tree, chopping it down, and using the chopping down tree as a as a weapon. I think that's the funnest thing. And because it takes three different stages, like you have to plant a seed. Then you have to press another button to water the seed. Then you have to press another button to chop the tree down. And that's your attack. And I think that's super fun. <laughs> but uh, I play this a lot. I like Little Mac. I also like just playing as my me. I think that's really neat. So, I like playing as everybody. We still haven't had a... Oh, haven't we? Have we not done a, a Smash stream? No. Oh, man. You have not. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. We will. We, we will. I guess that's going to be rectified next week. <laughs> or else I'll forget about it again. That's that's entirely true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to say possible. I'm just going to say that's it's entirely good. true. I'm a forgetful person. Uh, <laughs> Jay's Manhole says, Jack, I'm thinking of switching from Final Cut Pro to uh, Adobe Premiere, and I'm frightened. How do I make the jump? You just do it. You're frightened. <laughs> You're frightened. You should be. No, and I mean, I get it. You you get so used to something that, that you're afraid. Here's what I can tell you about Adobe is one of the default options is to change shortcuts to Final Cut Pro shortcuts. So you don't need to worry about remembering different shortcuts. 
if you're coming from Final Cut 7, uh, Final Cut 7 is a 32-bit program, whereas Adobe Premiere is a 64-bit program, which means if you have extended RAM, it can take advantage of all of your RAM, which means faster rendering time. Uh, also, you don't need to worry about rendering with Premiere. It ingests any video footage you throw at it, and you can preview it without rendering it. Rendering it makes it go a little bit smoother, but it's it's a really a joy, and especially if you do things like if you want to mix in your audio work, if you want to mix in After Effects, if you want to mix in color grading with Adobe Link, linking an After Effects scene into your Adobe project, working out in an After Effects, having it automatically update in Premiere, watching that update live, then taking it over to color grade, uh, speed grade and, and color grading it, then messing around with the audio. If you get the whole Creative Cloud, it's it's a joy. I, I really can't endorse the adobe products more i've once i've and it it did it was tough to switch over but literally i just i just i, I dove in and started editing and it was a bit of a rough transition but once i got into it man i love the flow i love the workflow like right now i'm ingesting all of my footage using prelude which takes care of it for me in one program, then I can take all of those, all of those, all of that footage, move it into Premiere seamlessly, go into Premiere, get my audio in. If I need to make a little After Effects thing, little right click, make this an After Effects clip, do all my After Effects stuff, it automatically updates in my Premiere timeline. Really great exporter. I don't know how I can sell this more for you. <laughs> not, not having audio cues is just ass. It's oh, fucking awful. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I've got to be careful around this big gun. Ooh, a fleshy patch. Yes, uh, Adobe Premiere has flash processing. Or blast processing. <laughs> blast processing. Blast processing! Blast! Ah, it's extreme! <laughs> Speeds like you never seen before! <laughs> Yeah, well, and, and I, I'm seeing someone say that Adobe works, but is so expensive. Here's the thing, Adobe Creative Cloud is 50 bucks a month. And you get, you get Photoshop, you get After Effects, you get Premiere, you get Prelude, you get um, Audition, which is their audio editing stuff. You get uh, a media exporter, which handles obviously all of the media exportation. You get everything with Adobe Creative Cloud for 50 bucks a month. If you are not earning 50 bucks a month, then it is quite possible that you don't need a professional editor. Then you might need to just look at your own situations. Um, but for 50 bucks a month, there's it's it's 100% worth it for me. I, I want to keep my buzzsaw gun, but I know I'm not going to have much use for it in the next section. <laughs> there, There is a gun... Which uh -huh. normally your melee is in this game. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, you know, in a lot of third-person shooters, you can just walk into a crowd of people and just keep instant kill meleeing. You can kind of, you can kind of cheese that a bit, you know, because the, the the melee is instant death. in yeah. Some games, uh, they get around that in this game. The melee has like a cooldown. Use it once, and 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 all your your powers are just reset. Oh, cool nice. Uh, except for the buzzsaw gun, which you can melee as much as you want, and it cuts limbs off. Mm. That's awesome. It's, everything about this game is fucking awesome. Yeah. I, I love this one. <laughs> I'm gonna have this game's babies somehow. I'm gonna have this game's babies. Yeah. It, so that's the thing, Diotro knows. So it's you know, it's fifty bucks a month, six hundred bucks a year, every year, but you automatically have the latest updates. You have all of the stuff. I know a lot of people were skeptical about their like monthly subscription fee instead of like paying the huge amount up up front, but I don't know. I'm with it. They've already they they update all the time. Um, and like I said, you need to look at your own workflow. Where it, if you are not earning that much money, then you probably don't need that editor. Or if you think you might, you can literally just pay fifty bucks and have all of these things for one month. And just see if you can make some stuff. And if it's not for you, that's it. 50 bucks. That's it. And you can test everything out 
with no limitations. To me, that's incredibly worth it. So. I'll take this. I'm sorry for uh, evangelizing Adobe. It's, it's, it's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's <laughs> what you do. It's, it's obviously people like talking about their work, and it's what I work with every day. And I I learned digital editing on Final Cut, so I was I was a Final Cut fanboy through and through. And as soon as they made their switch over to Final Cut X, I I couldn't take it anymore, and uh, and Premiere was where it's at. Okay. Yeah. I will stop talking about Adobe now. <laughs> if you want to talk about Adobe, you go right ahead. Right. Don't right. let anybody stop you from, I won't. From, from doing that that thing you're talking about. Ah, uh, okay. Um, right, ja no, Jack. No. I'll take that check now, Adobe. I wish. Oh man, I have I have a buddy who talks to Adobe regularly. He's a motion graphics artist. Uh, I'm I I receive no money from Adobe, but if anyone from Adobe is listening, I, I'll take money. But. <laughs> Um, oh, and apparently every Adobe product has a free month trial, so you can try it for free. That's great to know. Uh, and I've never, I've never worked on an Avid before, so I cannot. They still make Avid? A oh, Avid, Avid systems. Uh, Avid is still a, a professional editing system that many people really enjoy. I have never even touched an Avid machine, so I, I cannot tell you my, any thoughts on it. I know they're supposed to be comically expensive. Yes, Coming right up. comically expensive, and but I'll, I mean, obviously, it's it's what a lot of professional editors use. So. You're safe to detonate now. Boom. Move on through. So that's it, you know. Um, that, by the way, Salabeg, that is my motto. I I'll take money. I like free stuff. That is 100% my motto. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, did you know that the order has good graphics? <laughs> Just one of you. It has good yeah, graphics. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, oh yeah, no. It's That's the true. Best, best graphics ever seen by mankind. It's, they really are great. Uh, <laughs> that was part of, I, you know, I suppose maybe... To make it more relevant, instead of just talking about the order, we, I, I can we can talk about like why I can I can talk about why I removed that from the discussion because we did talk about the graphics, which yes, the graphics are great. <laughs> there there were a couple things that we talked about during our discussion of the order that I didn't keep in the final edit. Yeah, uh, one was the graphics, and two was the length of the game. The length and, was a complete non-issue. Well, and uh, this is what Rich and I were talking about today. Uh, the reason I took them out, and I'm really glad that Rich agreed, is that both are non-issues. Gra the graphics and the game length doesn't matter if the game is good. There are games that look some, like ass. Some of my favorite games are five hours long. Yeah. Yeah. Could you, Rich? Why uh, Vanquish is, it's not five hours, but it's relatively short. There's like seven or eight you can complete the game in. You can, oh, One okay. of my favorite games. This, uh, this looks like a great game, and you can defeat it in the time it took us I, to I, defeat the order. I, I, I want to say it's not that long, yeah. Uh -huh. um, All right, Zone great. of the Enders, one and two, the Maximo games. Sure. There's a lot of good games that are short and replayable because they're how, fun. How about Portal? You could, you could Portal, do Portal, yes. Portal's a ridiculously comically short game. Uh, fantastic game. I I would I would not regret paying sixty dollars for a Zone of the Enders game. <laughs> sure, sure. Oh, so so what you're saying is like the length of the game doesn't necessarily make it a good or a bad game. Oh yes. Okay. So so now onto graphics. <laughs> kind of the same thing. Oh, shit, that didn't work. Where it's like great graphics, like a great looking game is fucker. icing. Fucker, you're a fucker. <laughs> It's an icing on on a good game cake. 
you know, where it's like, it's here's a good game and it also looks great. But all, you know, graphics aren't the most important thing. And so that's why I decided to take those out of the final edit because it, it they're not important. The gameplay and the story are what matters. And so, yeah, like someone is, I see someone in the chat saying, do you think better graphics are a valid selling point no. of new consoles? No. I wouldn't want it to look like shit, but it doesn't need to be, it doesn't, game doesn't need to be cutting edge graphics, the most real that anything has ever, ever looked, and then whatever. Yeah. Is whatever. it fun? That's probably the first question I'm going to ask. Is it fun? <laughs> right? Exactly. Or like FTL is a game that theoretically you could beat FTL in an hour. <laughs> you know? You I probably have, won't, but. I have beaten Spelunky. I, I've gotten the achievement. I've beaten, I've gone from the beginning to the end of Spelunky in 10 minutes, in under 10 minutes, because that's an achievement that you can get. <laughs> but Ooh, rocket launcher. these games have replayability. These games maybe have a multiplayer aspect, Portal 2, for example. Like, and most importantly, I bet a lot of these games didn't cost you 60 goddamn dollars. <laughs> So, no, no, the, the gra graphics and gameplay length aren't the important things. Anyone who, like, is just making fun of the order for, oh, my God, look at that guy. Oh, yeah. Like a giant circle saw axe. That's awesome. Everything in this game is awesome, Jack. <laughs> this looks great, Rich. I'm really, uh, like, I kind of want to play this game. This is the best shooter nobody ever talks about. Yeah? Yeah. I'm with you. I'm, I, it looks great. I think, like... I might want to get my hands on a 360, though, because I really dislike the uh, the PlayStation. I really dislike the DualShock for shooters. So that's weird to me, because I find the 360 controller awkward. Then again, I find any controller awkward for shooters. But Exactly. Exactly. Uh, oh, Octo-J, you're right. Guacamelee can be done in, like, five hours with getting everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so these are the things. Game length, like oh, and fucker, gaming game length should be noted only because it has zero replayability. But again, that that's a, a focus. That's that should be talking about its replay value. Like, there's no way you can replay the order and have the same experience because there's there's no playing involved. Well, there's no way you can actually. There's technically there's no way you could play it and have a different experience <laughs> because everything you do is pre-programmed on the rails. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Safety Anemna says, um, would you say that the order is just like a delayed launch game? It's just made to show off the graphics. That's kind of what Yahtzee said. Oh, and I didn't watch Yahtzee's that, review. That's not going to make it good or bad. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's completely irrelevant. Right. Because one, it's not a launch title. This is why you, this is why you don't buy launch titles, for one. <laughs> this is why you wait until the system's been out and sure. the kinks have been worked out. Sure, but and also like that is no defense of any game. Like, what we're playing here is a is a graphical test, and so we shouldn't have to pay for that. Yeah, well, and, and everyone, everyone is now making fun of me because, or the the chat is in heated debate over which is the best controller to use for a first person shooter, and you know what, guys, it's whatever works for you. I started playing shooters on a 360 pad. That is where I'm comfortable. Rich likes a dual shock, and that's fine. Well, Whatever you're more comfortable the, with. The best is mouse and keyboard. <laughs> bar none, bar none, hands down. That's not even hyperbole. Ah. The important thing in a shooter is aiming. You can do that quickly and accurately with a mouse. You can't do that quickly and accurate with a controller unless mm. there's some auto-aim bullshit going on. Oh sure. Oh no, and you know, you know, you're kind of right, Horatio. Horatio is saying, Jack, you sort of screwing up the replayability point. It's not whether the experience is replayable. It's whether. Oh, I just got hit by a crashing spaceship. <laughs> First of all, that's awesome. It's whether it's good enough to be enjoyed twice. Um, I suppose, but it's just like, you know, it took us a little over eight hours to defeat the order, and if we were to play it again knowing that literally the exact same things would happen like why in eight hours why would you do that i could see watching a movie again like picking up on little things but it didn't work. 
A, a movie's over in two hours. This is a... <laughs> the, the, the order is a slog. You don't want to do that again. <laughs> right? 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 If you hit that, that guy with the, fire, the mace, if you hit his backpack, mm -hmm. he explodes. That's awesome. I, lo I love his weapon design. You know what's fun about this game, Rich? Hmm. I'm have not I'm not playing it, and I I can't hear it because I have it muted, so I yeah. can hear you. Uh, but I'm visually engaged in it. Isn't that weird? That's why I bought the game. I saw a video of it online, uh -huh. and I'm like, oh, I need this. Yeah. I need this in my life. This is gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, this looks great. This looks like a fun game to play. Extremely. Extremely. <laughs> you can tell I love this game, right? <laughs> right? I do. I, I, I do and I can tell that you love this game. Why is everything in the order so dry? <laughs> Why is it so dry? I... The only... The only conclusion that we can come to is that they thought they were doing something that meant something very serious. They thought they were creating high art and they thought they were doing something that no one else had done before. <laughs> right? Why else, why else would they be taking themselves so seriously? There is a, a like a 13 page thread on, on NeoGAF mm -hmm. about the order and um, oh, what are you, one, of, one of the like this retarded man, who's like a defender of the order, like retardedly defending it, mm -hmm. exactly like a prequel fan. Oh lord! Uh, it was getting on us for calling the the main bad guy Dracula. <laughs> He's not really Dracula. <laughs> you never call him Dracula. Yeah, wait a way to miss the point, asshole. <laughs> wait a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not. He's not technically called no. Dracula. Uh. But you know what? I have no doubt in my mind that in the sequel, it's going to be a reveal that he is a he is a count from Transylvania. No doubt in my mind that he's going to be revealed as a count from Transylvania. He wasn't Dracula. He wasn't Dracula. He's Dracula. Dracula was the, he's the powerful vampire. It's the vampire leader. Dracula. Not Dracula. <laughs> That's so great. Uh, the Rising Sun says, "Hey Jack, a few months ago I asked if a good bad game exists." Um, and you said you weren't sure. Would the order or anything else you played recently qualify it? The order definitely not. It was a slog. <laughs> yeah. Like good bad game. You know, like if if you look at a good bad overslid, movie, overslid, over, oh. <laughs> overslid, overslid. Um, oh, I love the shotgun blind fire. Oh shit! Oh shit! There's a guy on my flank. Guy on my flank. <laughs> I died. Guy on my flank. I died. This, this, like, sliding around and jumping around all crazy, Rich. I am so hyped to play this game right now. <laughs> you can, I just want to let you, you know can, that. You can drive over here right now. No, I can't. Pick up a I controller. Had, I had a beer when I got home. So okay. I <laughs> okay. So I can't. But I'm, I'm just letting you know that, like, I'm going to borrow your PS3. Well, no, I'll, I'll, get a, I'll, I'll get a 360 copy. I don't want to play it on a PS3. I want to play this game right now. Um... Yeah, we could hook up a splitter cable to hear the audio, but then we would also need like an RCA to headphone jack, and then Rich would need a separate headphone to hear me. Hooking up a splitter cable so that Rich could hear the game live and also hear me Fuck. live would require two different headphones from Rich. It, it's kind of complicated. But uh, and in any case, a good bad game, like a good bad movie, would be really hard to quantify because like it would have to be it would have to be like a broken game and you're you're enjoying the brokenness of the game you right know, something something like big ride uh, to hell retribution or big rigs big rigs that, off the road racing it's probably yeah. the one that comes to mind the only one i know of that would qualify yeah where it's like the game is pretty light and and you're enjoying the technical failures of the game uh, but I think that's also really hard to quantify because of the time you're putting in, where it's like a movie, especially like those cheap bad movies. Jack, look at that. I just shot I just shot that big robot's leg off. Okay, I'm going to You can watch. do that in this game. 
You can, you can, you can target body parts. Wait, someone's I'm gonna watching. blow up. Okay. And awesome. And he fall. He's fallen. Let's see if I can get his arm. That's awesome, Rich. I also just kind of like how you're in like. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh you're shit, the big bomb, the big bomb. <laughs> you're in like kung fu stance while shooting. You can you can shoot the missile. He fires. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I love don't... everything about this game. Oh shit, he hit me with it. <laughs> I don't think PS4 has backwards compatibility. You cannot play PS3 games on a PS4. I don't believe. I want to be able to emulate this just so I can just so I can preserve it for all time. Sure. Because I know, I know my PS3 is not going to last forever. Mm -hmm. This game needs to last forever. I wonder if there's like a digital download of it somewhere. With DRM? No, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, for those of us who are okay with DRM. I'm, I'm Googling it. That's not a deal. I'm not recharged yet. I'm not jump out. I'm not recharged yet. Vanquish! Vanquish! Yeah, only PS3 and Xbox 360. Hmm. This game would be so great on, on PC. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Uh, it would be. <laughs> They're saying in the chat, no backwards compatibility so they can quote unquote remaster popular games to squeeze a few more bucks. That's true. That's yeah. True. Mm. Yeah, maybe something someone is mentioning Goat Simulator as a, a good bad game. Where, like, some, or that's, something like. That's deliberately, though. Right. Something like Goat Simulator or Octodad, or have you seen that new one where it's like Bread Simulator? Yeah. yeah. I am Bread. I am bred, and, and so it's like there are games like that that are that are one hundred percent schlock and okay with that, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and that's a different thing. That's a different thing than like a game that was trying to be good and failed utterly and comically. Yeah. So, and I, th I think that's a harder thing to achieve in games. I think I'm gonna use this weapon for a while. I've never played around with this weapon. It's from one of the DLCs. Okay. It's just, it's just a fucking laser. Okay. <laughs> it's just a fuck. They give you a fucking power laser, Jack. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. What counts as a British dark comedy? And I'll tell you. Oh my god, that looks awesome. <laughs> Tell where you are. That's great. I want that in a different weapon slot, though. That's great. That's great. It, if uh, I don't know if Black Mirror would count as a British dark comedy. I know we talked about that on chat a little bit ago, but I have been watching some episodes of Black Mirror and really enjoying it. Though not that first episode. If you remember, Jay was recommending Black Mirror, which is a BBC Twilight Zone-esque show. Um, but the first episode involves a man fucking a pig. And while I thought it was a really good episode, like incredibly dark, really, really well done about a really well done TV show about a man fucking a pig. Uh-huh. Um, Jay would like that. You're right. The my problem with it is like I had I had heard that this was like this was like uh, Twilight Zone but with like sci-fi elements to it. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, which I was the Twilight Zone is sci-fi elements. Yeah. Oh sure sure but yes yes and or maybe that's the thing is like there's it's like the Twilight Zone and I was like or or with technology elements to it all all episodes have something to do with technology in Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was like oh that's really great. The only problem is like the pig fucking episode has very little. Of that, like, sci fi sure. technology thing. It's just like a moral dilemma, motion. you know? Someone says they're gonna kill someone unless you fuck a pig alive on TV. That's the premise of the first episode of Black Mirror. 
He's, <laughs> they they threaten. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not remember this? It was great. I've, uh, you were playing. You were playing while Jay and I were talking, so you might not remember this. So, so the, uh, so a British prime minister gets blackmailed, and they kidnap a princess, and they say we're going to kill the princess unless you have sex with a pig live on TV. And you have to do these things to prove that it's live, you know, that you are actually having sex to completion. You have to have sex with a pig to completion. You need to finish, right? Uh huh. And so it's <laughs> like, it's this really like, it's really good. And like, all the acting is really superb. And, you know, like, it's, it's just a really well made little short um, about this guy going through a moral dilemma of like saving someone's life, but he has to fuck a pig. The only, like, it was just. <laughs> Does he do it? I don't want to spoil it. Okay. You know? But and so like it's but it's like it's all moral dilemma and there's no real sci-fi element to it. And so I was uh, I was a little put off just because like it was so real. Like the acting was so good. Uh but later the literally the next all episodes have a significant sci-fi element to them and I enjoyed those a lot more. We're almost to the point where it's just like, why did you start with the pig fucker episode? You know, like, it's so off-putting. <laughs> People like pig fucking. Apparently. <laughs> but, uh, but the overall, it's very good. And I, I really do recommend it. I've been really enjoying watching those episodes. Elena, isn't there Professor Candide? So, Black Mirror, enjoying it. I'm still I'm still watching Voyager. I'm going through the whole fucking thing. <laughs> I like a lot of Voyager. I like a lot of it Voyager. It gets it gets better near the end of season three. <laughs> I hate I hate that first season. Mm -hmm. First and second season. <laughs> Why was I watching it? I don't know. <laughs> I just I just was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, there's there's a lot of bad in Voyager, but I, I still overall enjoyed it. But there's a lot of bad in there. <laughs> I like this ship. I like, you know what? And I like Janeway. I'm putting that out there. I like Janeway. She's a, she's a screwed up captain, <laughs> but I like her. She's she's no Picard. No, we're not getting we're not getting crazy here. But I like her. She's got her own agenda. <laughs> Poor Chicote is never going to hit that, is he? <laughs> never. Not even not even close. Not even close. <laughs> and the doctor's still the best character on the show, which Yes. Is a little bit sad. That was one of my one of my favorite bosses in, in just just about any shooter, actually. Mm hmm Oh, they're, say they're saying that uh, Charlie Brooker, the guy who makes Black Mirror, just really likes messing with people. And so that's why he wanted the Pig Fucker episode to be the first episode. <laughs> so he could be like, this is a show about pig fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. I love it. You know, no, I, I, I watched it. I gotta I see it. I'm curious. I, 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 re I really do overall recommend it. It's just like getting past that first episode is a little tough because it's real. Man. That BBC, they got good actors. They have good talent over there. <laughs> Harry Kim is my favorite character in Star Trek, said no one ever. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Chik <laughs> That's good. Uh, War Turk says that uh, Chakotay isn't even a character, really. More a piece of bridge scenery. That's yes. Harry. That's Harry Kim, too. That, that's the problem <laughs> with Voyager. That's, that's most of the damn characters on the show. Yeah. Oh, and my apologies. Apparently, Black Mirror is made by Channel 4, not BBC. 
Oh, I no. don't know. Every What's... show that's from England is BBC to me. I'm an American. I don't know these things. I thought they were the same thing. BBC right? Channel 4 and 1 2, and they have multiple yeah. channels of BBC? We have, I, this is the thing, people. We don't know. We're American. Uh, yeah, no, Chicote. Chicote was a great promise of a character. Was he? I think so, cause, you know, right? Because he was like the leader of the rebels. And there's like, how are these two people ever going to get along? I, I mean, the promise was broken in the first episode. But <laughs> I think he was a good setup. Like, he could have been a good foil, you know? Oh, yeah, but they didn't use him that way. No, no, no. But that's how, that's how he was set up, right? He was the rogue commander, like Starfleet trained, but took his own path, right? Uh-huh. And so, like, and Janeway is, 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 uh... By the Starf book. Starfleet Command, by the book. That would have been a great pairing. And so, like, uh, imagine if, if it was, like, Chakotay who's all, like, we have to disrupt the Prime Directive to save the crew. And Janeway's like, we can't do that. It's the Prime Directive. And Chakotay is like, we have to. And that was Chakotay instead of Janeway's, yeah. like, instead of Janeway disobeying the Prime Directive all the time. That could have been interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Voyager is a series of missed opportunities. I mean, great premise. So there's so much they could have done with that premise. Yep. And they chose not to do hardly any of it. Yeah. 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 What are you gonna do? Nothing. You know what you're gonna do, Rich? Watch goddamn Firefly. Watch it. <laughs> do it already. Yeah, I'll be I'll be intensely happy for eight episodes, and then I'll be very sad. Yes, but the happiness outweighs the sadness. I don't know about that. It does. I don't know about that. It does. <laughs> it's so worth it. Yeah, there's not going to be a satisfying resolution to any of this. I, I can't. I can't see that as a positive. <laughs> My brain doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a good question. Like, Rich, do you have any sort of like guilty pleasures as far when it comes to like games, movies, TV shows? I'm sure I do. I can't think of any right off the top of my goddamn head. But... I, I do love, like, I don't have cable anymore, but I loved cooking shows. Like, like for example, like Chopped. I will watch every single episode of Chopped ever made. If it's on, like if I'm at a hotel and they have cable, I, I will go to the Food Network and watch anything the Food Network produces. It's it's 15 years old now. I remember kind of liking that uh, Invisible Man TV show on the Sci-Fi Channel. I think I think that would count as a guilty pleasure. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. He was, yeah. He, was he was a man. He had an a, a experimental gland put in his head that could turn him invisible, but it was also making him insane. And he mm -hmm. he, he had the gland put in just to get out of a, a, a three strikes or out you know life in prison thing, but it ended up okay. being stuck in his head because terrorists killed the doctors. <laughs> so he's slowly going insane, and he needs to work for the government so he can get the injections to keep him from losing his mind. Oh, okay. A lot of bad episodes, but some nice premise kind of things to it. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. That's good. A little, a little schlocky, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, anything on the sci fi channel is <laughs> guaranteed schlock. <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And that's okay. Like, and that's, that's the problem. Like, I, I have a problem with, like, guilty pleasures in general, where it's like, I don't have any guilty pleasures. I just enjoy things, and I'm not ashamed of the things I enjoy. Like, I enjoy cooking shows, and that's, you know, they're cooking shows. They're not, you know, they're not great. I enjoy romantic comedies, and I'm not going to call that a guilty pleasure. It's like, it's something I enjoy. Uh, I like cheesy action movies. Like, I unironically love Face Off. I love The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's great. Well, like mostly because those movies are not ashamed of what they are. You know, they're balls out and and they don't care. And I mean, they're listen. And I know like they're dumb, but they're they're not trying to be anything else. And I don't I don't necessarily think that think of that as like a guilty pleasure, just because I know what they are. They know what they are. We're just enjoying each other. <laughs> so what 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 in gaming terms constitutes as a guilty pleasure? That's a good question. Like, for me, because, like, I, you know, you know, we do the show, we do the streams. I, I do try to play as many new things as possible to help with the show. 
And so, like, for me, the biggest guilty, guilty pleasure is just replaying something I've already played. Does that count? Ah, uh, no. I, I think that's guilty. Like, for example, a game A game you like that, like, according to either general consensus or, or reviews, you're not, you're not supposed to. Say, sorry, say that again? Something, something that is generally disliked by people, but you like it anyway. That's what a guilty pleasure is? I, I'm, I, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's how I'm going to define it right now. Okay, no, if, if that's the definition, let's see here, something that is panned by other people, but I generally... I'm going to say by popular consensus more so than reviews, too, yeah. Sure, sure, okay. Okay. Let's see here. I don't know. Uh, no, I, I mean, in gaming, I don't know if, if there's anything. No, no, I, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't think of anything like like I, so that would probably be something like. Like Call of Duty wouldn't be like in certain circles that would be Call of Duty, but not. That's yeah, not extreme. yeah, like if you if you liked Call of Duty. In certain circles, that would be considered a guilty pleasure. Firepower increased 40%. That's what I like to hear. Nice. Oh, sure. Oh, that's a good example. The Dynasty Warrior games. Oh, yes. Like there you a, go. That's, that's a there good There you one. go. Thank you. Smelter wedge in all of us. Uh, yes, the Dynasty Warrior games. Like any any of that kind of brawler, beat em up, hack and slash. I do enjoy games like that a lot. I, and I have played a lot of the Dynasty Warriors franchise. I guess for me, it's Brutal Legend. Okay. I kind of like Brutal Legend. Uh huh. It's a weird sort of real-time strategy game, and I like it. I like the style. I, I, <laughs> I like the game. Sure. I like some of the writing. <laughs> All right. No, and I, I think that's fine. Like, ah, you fucker. But it's like, you know, again, guilty pleasures. Like, I'm not guilty about liking Dynasty Warriors. I'm very aware of my like of Dynasty Warriors. Uh, any sort of that kind of game. I saw someone mention, like, the Tony Hawk series. Oh, I played the shit out of a lot of Tony Hawk games. And, you know, they might not be the greatest gaming experience for everyone, but yeah, I like them, and I'm not going to apologize for liking them. Uh, no cover. That's probably a bad idea. But I got, no, I got boost. I, I got love that. Yeah. Like, Dynasty Warriors does so many things right. Just, just mowing down dudes. It, it does a lot of things wrong, too. Like, it's incredibly repetitive. It's, <laughs> I mean, I think they're on Dynasty Warriors 16 right now. They're not, tr they're not trying, you know? <laughs> They, they, they're not trying anymore, but it's it's still a satisfying gaming experience. <laughs> Dynasty Warriors is odd. It's everyone's guilty pleasure. Well, good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Made that shot. And no, I have not played Hyrule Warriors. Uh, because, I mean, I knew, I know what it's going to be, and I, I don't have time. <laughs> I didn't even know it was out. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's out. It's Shh. out. It's it's exactly, it's a Dynasty Warriors game with, with the Zelda skins, you know. I am... Oh, fuck the sniper rifle. This game is not meant for sniper rifles. This game is meant for <laughs> shotguns and, and <laughs> miniguns. Yeah, yeah, come on. Do you have to use a sniper rifle? Almost? No, well, it's one place where you do. Mm. It's, it's almost like a puzzly kind of section. Ah, okay. You have to shoot out the lights. Oh, uh, Rich, they're saying there's definitely not enough dick punching in this game. Eh. <laughs> I haven't been using the melee as much, but how do you dick punch a robot, I guess? There can't be dick punching in this game. Do, do they have some sort of like ventilation shafts? Wouldn't that count as their, or like? That'd be uh, like a butt, a ventilation shaft. Do they have some sort of fluid release system, perhaps? Would that? That, that sounds so disgusting. The way you say that. Is there some kind of fluid release system? 
Um, hey, hey. Hey there, baby. I would like to uh, observe your fluid release system. Oh, go. Hey, hey there, Chappie. Can I see your fluid release system? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> That's what you're saying to me. I know. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker. What happened? I just, I just got, like, shot immediately, and it's just kind of annoying. Funny. Oh, okay. We were gonna get rid of that <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? Oh, oh God. I don't know. I don't know. Yakto Rex. Tag tight. <laughs> <laughs> How many people in the chat got that reference? I think ever. Oh, I guess yeah, because we said it on the chat before. Yeah, we've talked about that that uh, commercial in the chat before, and I, you know, so I think everyone in the chat got it. I wonder, just in general, for general viewership, how many of them got it? Or they're like, why are they doing funny voices? <laughs> oh, fuck.